Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. It's a messy desk again. It's a very messy desk. Uh, but I thought that I would show you. Hold on. Uh, I thought that I would show you um, some of my spoils from a little trip that I had to um, Yorkshire um, this past weekend. So um, one of the places I went to was called Salt's Mill and it's a place where um, David Hockney has an exhibition of some of his works. Uh, it's probably one of the only places in the UK where he's got an exhibition. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But I kind of think it's, uh, because that comes from in the area and this is where he has a major exhibition and all kinds of stuff. So went there and they have masses of books art books <sighs> and also art materials so I was kind of like rooted to the spot I didn't know which way to run because there's so much good stuff could have spent a fortune but didn't <laughs> but I could easily have spent a fortune so um let's have a look at some of the things I got I got some of this lino um it's a soft cut lino and it's a small one so it's like 75 by 75 millimeters uh, because I wanted to try out some lino cutting which I actually did and I'll show you some of the little bits that I got from it so I did some very rudimentary printing <laughs> but I did actually get some bits done so I made this little little very roughly done lino cut which i'm gonna start to look into and do some more on but i was so impatient i just wanted to try it out and just printed it with um acrylic paint and then that was on a painted base and this one was just worked into with some inks so i actually did use that <laughs> so that was worth a buy for me anyway and i've got another piece to work on for from that but i also want to get some more I found this beautiful washi tape. It's kind of got all little animals on it. I don't know if you can see them. See if you can open it up. It's one of the MT washi tapes and I absolutely adore it. Look at that. Look at all those animals. Even little owl there. <laughs> so this was a had to have as well. And they had loads of the Cardi paper um, packs there. And I was really into these. Um, I don't know if you've seen um, the short that I made with the dogs. Um, this one. Sorry, I'm not very prepared, am I, today? But I did make a short on the on the the doggos. I did, <laughs> and that was on this, which is the um, zigzag paper. Now it's kind of like accordion folded which is great because, you know, I quite like these kind of little booklet things anyway. You get five of these in a pack and that was two ninety five, and I thought that was a very, very reasonable because this is cotton rag paper that's so great for all kinds of stuff. So I got that and I got the bigger pack. So this is a five of the, I don't know if it says on it, size wise, but it's, it's bigger. You can see that's a small one. That's a big one. So I got those. And then, because I couldn't leave without getting some of the David Hockney postcards, I actually got one of this, which is one of his digital works. Um, so this is Walgate in East Yorkshire. And this was done on an iPad and then printed. It just goes to show that you can actually do beautiful, beautiful this stunning work just done on an ipad and that's all you actually need and i think he's one of the pioneers of using it for like fine art fine art this is another one of david hockney's pieces this is oil on canvas and this is a road to york through sledmore sledmere even sledmore. <laughs> can't even speak correctly i just love all the colors this is it was basically this piece. I loved that beautiful 
pathway going through the woods with all the different textures and colours and I was looking at that and thinking that would work so well in the stitch piece. In fact a lot of this would translate beautifully. Um, but yeah it sort of set me up on the pathway of doing some more um, some more of my digital artwork which I enjoy. Um, so when I get my new iPad I will be uh, cracking on with that. Uh, the other piece I got was one, this was another, it's kind of like three different styles. David Hockney has got so many different ways of putting his art across and I love it, absolutely love it. And um, this is uh, Mont Calm Interior at seven o'clock and that's another oil on canvas piece. And it's just joyous, it absolutely is. And I could have bought all of the postcards but I had to limit myself. <laughs> um, then I have got this card now one of my prompts for um abstractory which we're doing at the moment if you're taking part hey we're halfway through <laughs> i've just done the i've just posted my collage one for today which is the 14th of february and we, yeah we're we're halfway through we've got an extra day this month but kind of i'm kind of counting this day as halfway so this is a Paul Clay uh, piece and I actually saw that on a card and I thought I've got to have that. And this is called Red Green and Violet Yellow Rhythms. This is 1920 by Paul Clay and it's beautiful. One of my favourite pieces. Sorry about any reflection because I haven't taken it out of its wrappings yet. But it's got little gold details um, on the card itself which is lovely. And the other thing I got was this beautiful card from the Natural History Museum. If you ever get a chance and you go into the Natural History Museum, plan to go there for a week. <laughs> I, I went in and I thought I wish I'd just brought all my books and, and my sketchbooks and paints and things because you just want to stay there and just look at everything. And this is from one of their collection. So it's artwork adapted from images and objects held within the collections of the Natural History Museum. And this is just crab, very simply called crab, but beautiful. And look at the colours in that. It's just stunning. And you can see kind of like watercolour going on there. And just beautiful, beautiful detail on that crab. So that's what I got from Salt's Mill and if you are up in that direction if you're close to Leeds do pop in it is an absolute joy and very much recommended and then I went to a place called Fabworks um, which is a stunning place where they do all kinds of beautiful fabrics and Yorkshire tweed they make there and they have these little packs that you can buy. I was put onto this by Fabulous Jacks. Jackie Parry <laughs> has a lot to answer for. <laughs> and I love her. But yes, um, she's got a lot to answer for because she recommended this place to me and I had to go and have a look while I was up in the area. So it's in Dewsbury. And they do these bundles. This is a wool craft bundle and it was £3. And you get all the little squares of this beautiful fabric. So do you know what? Because it's you, I'll undo it and we'll, sh we'll show it together. So you get a nice piece of each of these. This is just such soft wool, beautiful, pure, 100% wool. This is kind of like a boucle, I would say. A nice strip of that. Can you imagine sewing into this? It's just glorious. I'm going to take you up a little bit. And then we've got this tan. Isn't it stunning? I love this. It's a wool, but it's got kind of like little bobbles of pastel colours in it. Stunning. And then this. But I'm just imagining all the pieces that you can make with it. You could even make yourself a little patchwork cushion with all of these tweedy and woolly woolly pieces and I just couldn't resist to be honest it's just so lovely I think there's about 12 separate pieces that for three pounds three pounds my gosh you can't get anything for that now can you but looking at all these pieces stunning isn't it I'm kind of in love 
<laughs> fallen in love and I'm thinking of all the things that I can put together with this. It's just a dream. I really, really like it. So um, the place itself, it's a bit like you walk in and it is packed to the brim with all the most fabulous things you can find. But that was the, the three pounds. I mean, three pounds. Goodness, you can't get anything for that. So that was that one bundle. <laughs> we were in for a ride because I've got a few of these things. Let me go on to a simpler one. This is a piece of linen. Look at that colour. Look how beautiful that is. It's just stunning. It's ribbons come undone. Let me, let me redo it. <laughs> But it's just beautiful. And that is uh, 72 centimetres by 156 centimetres. So you've got a fair amount of that, six pounds. Really lovely. I got this solid, it's like a navy. It's very dark navy. It looks black on camera. This is 45 centimetres by 160. It's 100% wool and it is beautiful. And I'm just, you know, I, I could have bought everything. <laughs> It's like I was wandering around and just gasping and grabbing things. Um, and the, the staff in the shop are just, you know, so helpful. I was wandering around with my arms full of stuff and the lady said, would you like me to hold on to that while you carry on? I said, oh, yes, please. <laughs> so um, she held on to all the things that I already got in my arms while I went and got some more. It's another craft wall bundle beautifully displayed everything in there is very beautifully displayed and this was the uh, the one i grabbed first i think actually because of the beautiousness of the fabrics it kind of fits into my color color inspiration journal that i was making but look at it oh it's like stunning so stunning all these little bits and pieces Look at it. Perfect colour. And these are the Yorkshire tweeds and things as well that they make up in that beautiful part of the world. Stunning, lovely. That's really lovely. <laughs> that is also very lovely. It's all lovely. How many times can I say lovely in this whole thing? But look at that. It's nice, a really long strip to play with and then last of all was that piece there but again beautiful let's put it on my ever increasing pile over here which i'm hoping won't topple over um what else did i get this it was a linen bundle i'm not going to leave that behind am i and that was three pounds and you've got you've got four pieces there of you know nice amount of linen in each one and I will definitely use that. Um, they also have these beautiful trims. I'll just grab them out to show you. So there's this one. And you can buy this by the half metre. I think it was like 70p or something. Oh, no, this one was, this one was yeah, £2 maybe this one. Yeah, one of them was 70p. Look at that. It's beautiful trimming. Turn it the other way, you've got all that stunning, stunning trim to go on the edge of something. Oh, <laughs> it's in heaven. And then I've got this aqua one. Let's turn it the right way around. Look at it, how lovely is that? And um, so then this two meters of this beautiful lace. Now I want to try and dye some of this. But look at it. How glorious is that? <laughs> and then, as I was going out of the door, I'd already paid for all my stuff, um, there was this pile of bags and it said free scraps. Well, you know a magpie womble is not going to turn those down. So look at all this. It was a, a plastic carrier bag. It's got this beautiful gold fabric that I will definitely use something because it's glorious. 
quite a bit of that. This silk, ha ha ha, in all those pretty colours. <laughs> my magpie, my magpie mind was going, yes, yes, give me more. This I've cut of some wool, so that's wool. We've got a beautiful big piece of this um, cotton fabric, which is beaut. This is like drill. We've got a nice big piece of that. We've got some taffeta in just a glorious colour. I'm just thinking of all these pieces stitched into a piece of work um, blown away. And this more, more wool, more tweed. Nice long piece of tweed there. How beautiful is that? And I could have spent an absolute fortune. I really could. <laughs> I did limit myself. I think I spent £30, which I think is really good, considering I could have spent £130 in there quite easily without even blinking. <laughs> so that place is called Fabworks. They do have an online shop. I do not know if they ship abroad. I have absolutely no clue. Um, but this is like a a little flyer for all the herring bones that are spun, woven, dyed and finished all within eight miles of the shop itself, Fabworks. Hearts of Hudder Huddersfield, the mist and storm herring bones, but they've got so many different other fabrics in there as well. It is a, a, tr a complete treasure trove, what can I say? Um, so if you are interested, there is the deets for the online shop. And also you get directions to the shop in Dewsbury, which is kind of tucked away. But once you've got the directions, they're very good at, they've given directions. And obviously you could easily plug that into your GPS and find that. But I would give that a very big thumbs up. <laughs> so yes, it's been a very busy month. Um, we are in the midst, as I said, of doing abstractory. This was my piece that I've just posted for today which is the collage piece uh, for the collage prompt this is based on a song by maximo park called um, this is what becomes of the broken hearted uh, so that was that piece but check out the hashtag which is abstractory 2024 and you will be able to see what everybody else is posting as well because there are some stunning pieces of work i am I'm amazed at how beautiful some of the things are that everybody's coming up with and they're all flinging themselves into abstractory with great gusto and I love it. And yeah, shout out to everybody who's taking part. I am so proud of everybody and all the things that you're making. Anyway, that's enough waffling from me for now. Um, I'm sorry, I've kind of been a little bit absent on the channel for this past week, but it's we've had like things going on. I've been away for the weekend. We've got personal issues and everything at the minute, but I will be back here very soon with something else. So don't forget, show me your thumbs and also don't forget to subscribe. I will be back here very soon. Take care. Bye for now.